what made me become a guitar player? Uh, I've always been a guitar player, even though, even when I couldn't play the guitar. <laughs> because my mom, when she was a child, uh, played the Hawaiian uh, lap guitar for a short while. She had, and we had her old Oahu acoustic Hawaiian guitar in the house, so I was always plunking on that. And back in the 50s, of course, when uh, Elvis came along, that's, that's all I needed. And I, I just always had a guitar in my hands, uh, wasn't always very good at it, uh, uh, but, you know, struggled along. Eventually, um, I got a break to go to California in 1971 when I was in college um, to play with a group called Delaney and Bonnie and Friends, and um, I've just never looked back. I've always uh, been able to stay in the music business and uh, play the guitar, which is the thing I love to do most in life. And um, so my influences uh, have been... <laughs> So, so wide and varied, it's hard to say, but starting off uh, the aforementioned Elvis and uh, Scotty Moore, later uh, Ricky Nelson on TV with James Burton on guitar were big influences. Um, uh, when the Rolling Stones and the Beatles came along, of course, that opened up a whole nother world. Uh, they were kind of doing our music uh, and a lot of music that we sort of either took for granted or didn't pay close attention to. All of a sudden we started paying attention to and we got uh, a little more knowledgeable about the blues artists here in the States and I really did. Um, I started studying the styles of uh, you know B.B. King, Freddie King, Albert King, uh, Magic Sam, Elmore James, um, God, you know, the list just goes on and on. I'd every, with every album, it was like going to school. You'd spend months with that one record and learning that style or, or the, the gist of that style and then trying to fuse that all together into something that made sense. And um, uh, in more recent times, uh, I've uh, really grown to appreciate some of the, um, the swing and early jazz guitarists like... Um, of course, Django Reinhardt was uh, probably, I think, one of the greatest, if not the greatest genius of modern guitar um, in that style. And, uh, you know, Les Paul, Charlie Christian, that type of thing. Uh, I also love um, uh, world music. So I, I, I listen to a lot of instruments like the sarod and the uh, sitar. I love Indian music. I love, uh, I love belly dance music. Um, there's, it just goes on and on. There's just, there's, I wish I could live f 10 lifetimes so I could take it all in and, and master it all, but of course I can't. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm never bored with the guitar. It's always been my constant friend and companion, and uh, it's always been my salvation. And uh, so I feel really fortunate about that.